Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Circle. In today's video, we'll see insertion sort technique in Java. We have already seen bubble and selection sort and today we are going to see insertion sort. So this technique is a little bit different from bubble, similar to bubble, but it, it is little bit different from bubble where insertion is done. Okay we insert the element we assume a particular element and uh, we shift it or we place it to the right position and this process goes on and we at the end what we get we get the complete sorted data so here we will put the elements into ascending order using insertion sort technique okay so how does it work and uh, how the loop gets run that we are going to see so first of all we'll see here let's write uh, a small code for it the main code of insertion see we begin the outer loop from the index one from the second element and it goes up to lesser than the length that is up to the last i plus plus then after what happens we begin to initialize two values first we assume the key which has to be compared and which has to be shifted to the correct position correct place and there we will have another variable for the comparison that is j which will begin with i minus one every time it will be one lesser than the value of i and then after we begin while loop okay here while loop is the most suitable loop for this insertion sort uh, we cannot use for loop for loop does not suit this situation and condition so here the condition is till the value of j is greater or equal to zero and the key which has to be uh, which is considered to be shifted which is which has been assumed will be checked whether it is lesser than arj because we are doing ascending order that's why we are checking lesser if we are doing descending order then what we will do we will check for greater and if both conditions are together true then what should happen the value should should be shifted that is what whatever is on j plus one should go on j okay it should go one place back to the left side and the value of j will be decreased by one this is the inner loop okay and here in outer loop what should happen on the uh, j plus 1 where the value was shifted that value will also go on that k will go k means that a key is going to be there okay key will go and this is how the insertion co code is this is the insertion code now we will see the dry run and uh, how does it work we are going to see suppose we have here some elements i'm taking few elements so that we can understand here we have three four five six elements okay indexing begins with zero zero one two three four and five suppose we have inserted here seven and then we have two nine five four and here we have three clear so the outer loop the outer loop goes from one to last element so we have assumed that i is 1 and whatever value is on i current index of i is key. So what is on 1 that is 2. So key will become your i is 1 and your key is what 2. Your j becomes what 0 because 1 minus 1 0. The loop starts. j is greater than 0. Not greater than 0 but j is equal to 0. Condition is true. Key the value key is 2 which is compared with arj that is ar07 so 2 is lesser than 7 condition is true then what will happen on the arj plus 1 arj is 0 but on j plus 1 means on ar1 here the value of ar0 will go that is this will be shifted now what will be your new element it will be like 7 9 5 4 3 this will be then after uh, the value becomes what 
minus one, which which was initially zero. J becomes minus one. Condition is checked. J is greater than zero or equal to zero. Condition is false. The inner loop gets terminated, and then a r j plus one. What is on a r j plus one? So a r the j is now minus one. So j plus one is what becomes zero. So on j r zero. Key will be stored and key is what two. So two will be here now. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the first round. And now in the next round, i becomes two. When i becomes two, then what is on two that will become key. So if you see zero, one, two, on two what we have, we have nine. So key becomes nine and j becomes. Two minus one. That is what one. Clear. Now the inner loop begins again. J is greater or equal to zero. Yes, J is greater than zero because it is one. Now check key. Key is what nine. Whether key is lesser than A R J. What is on A R J? On A R J we have seven. No, it is not uh, greater. So what will happen? This loop will not run, and the inner loop gets closed. Then what is on A R J plus one? What is the value of J? Value of J remains one. And what is to be add, uh, shifted on one plus one means two. So on two key should be shifted. So means the key is placed again on the second index only. So there is no change. Key was on uh, nine was on two and nine will be placed again on two. Then it goes up and what happens? We check again and the I plus plus condition is true. I becomes three. When i becomes three, then what happens? Key becomes what? On key, what will be stored? Three. Uh, what is on third index? Five. So key becomes five. And what is the value of uh, j now? J is i minus one. That is what j be j begins from two. Now the condition is checked again here. Condition is checked, which is greater than zero. True. Now we are checking whether key and which is five is lesser than a r j. And what is on j? The current index that is two is nine. Yes, key is lesser than our key is five, which is lesser than the value on second index that is nine. So shifting process will take place. And now what will happen on the place of here we will make six places zero, one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, this is what two seven. So on j plus 1 arj will go means 9 which was on the second position will go to which position third position let 4 and 3 be, be here now what happens that uh, your uh, this one the value which was on uh, third which is what 5 minus minus what happens that j minus minus j becomes what which was 2 now j becomes 1 when j becomes 1 condition is still true whether your key is still 5 only whether key is lesser than a r j what is on j what we have on j so j was previously 2 now j is what 1 so whether key is lesser than that yes key is lesser than that so this value will be shifted again we have not that's why i have not placed it here the value uh, 5 i have not placed which was shifted from here okay Again, process will go on on JR uh, on J plus one J will go. So this will also be shifted here. And what will happen that two and here seven will come nine, four and three. Okay. Now J becomes uh, zero and which is still the condition is true. And now we are still our key is what five key is five and we are comparing with ARJ. So what is on ARJ right now? Two. So 2 is not uh, greater than 5. So condition is false. So this will loop will uh, not run. It will come down since j is 0. So on j, uh, j plus 1 that is on 1 key will be placed. And what is key? It will be placed here. So you can see here on the uh, third round we have got values settled. And now next time when i becomes 4. When i becomes 4, whatever is on the 4th index is going to be the key value. And on 4, we have the value 4. That is going to be key. 
and j will begin from 3 because i is 4. So 4 minus 1, it's going to be 3. Now, uh, we have to do what? Again, the inner loop will begin. j is greater than 0, condition is true, which is, it is 3. Key is lesser than arj. arj means on the third index, what is 9? Yes, uh, key is lesser than that. So what will happen? Again, shifting will be done, which I am doing here. You can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So uh, here 2, 5, 7. Now 9 goes here and 3 is here. See, I have put this place blank. I have not filled. Now 4 is, uh, as uh, this place is blank. Okay. We have 4 as key. We have 4 as, uh, 4 as key. And again, J minus minus, since the condition is true and the shifting process is done, insertion is done. So J minus minus, J becomes what? From 3 to 2. So condition is true. Key, key is 4, which is check whether it is lesser than ARJ. So AR, or what is on J? That is 2, 7. Key is lesser than 7. Yes, condition is true. Then what will happen? This will be shifted. And what will be the new arrangement of data that is 2, 5 and here it is what 7, 9, 3 and that is what 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then what happens next time when J becomes 1. It was 2 previously. Now it became 1. Condition is true. Key. Key is still 4 and it is compared with the value 5. Yes, again key is lesser than the value of AR1 that is J. So again this 5 will be shifted here and the new arrangement of data will be 2 and then here 5, 7, 9 and 3. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now J becomes what? Minus minus J becomes 0. 0 is equal to 0 condition true and your key is still 4 and your value on the 0 is was 2. Comparison is done. Uh, but uh, key is greater so condition is false this loop will not run and on j plus 1 because j is 0 so on uh, 0 plus 1 that is 1 key will be placed so 4 will be placed here so what is your arrangement after the 4 round that 2 4 5 7 9 3 you can see that still 3 has to be shifted to that side now uh, what will happen that next time i becomes 5 so what is on fifth position that is what three and three will become our key and j will become four so j will become four and from here checking will be done j is greater than zero if you look at the condition j is greater than zero condition is true j is four key key is three three is lesser than arj and yes arj what we have nine it is uh, lesser, key is lesser. So what will happen? Shifting process will done. And here this will go. 9 will go here. And what will be your new array? You will see here. I am just placing it here. That uh, it will be 2, 4, 5, 7. And uh, here it will be 9. Now your uh, key is what? Still 3. Now next time J minus minus which was 4 will become 3. Now, what is on 3? If you look at what is on 3, we have 7 on 3. 7 is greater than key. 7 is greater than 3. Again, this process will go on. And what will we have? We have again a new array where 2, 4, 5 and 7 and 9 is shifted. Okay. Again, i minus minus. I was 3, I becomes what? Sorry, uh, J minus minus, J becomes what? Three, from 3 to 2. So what is on 2 here? You can check on 2 we have 5. 5 is greater than the key. Key is 3. Yes, it is greater than. Again, this will also be shifted here. And the new arrangement of data will be 2, 4. And here 5 goes 7 and 9. Now J becomes what? 1. J becomes what? 1. And what is on 1? We have 4. Still, this data is also greater than the key and key is 3. So, this will also be shifted and after the shifting process, what we get that 2 
and here four five seven nine we get okay now what happens that let's go up our j becomes zero j is greater than or equal to zero condition is true the very first condition is what this condition is true and whether key key is three whether key is uh, lesser than the value stored on j j is zero two no so key is not lesser than two so this loop will not run and again it comes in the outer loop uh, j plus one that is what zero plus one at the place of one key will be stored so at the place of one the key is three and that is going to be stored here at the place of one and you can see that your insertion has taken place and uh, after how many rounds after in the fifth round our data is completely sorted and the loop was about to run five times only so this is what insertion sort where we have uh, sorted the values through the insertion process this sorting technique is only useful for small less number of elements you can say when we have a large amount of data or the number of elements are more in array then this insertion sort technique is not preferred this is only for when we have 10 to uh, 25 to 10 elements then only this is preferred